Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is ER Doc Zero coming to you with another video. Happy Saturday. Hope all of you had a great Thanksgiving holiday. If you celebrate it, if you don't celebrate it, regardless, I hope it was great. If you guys did any Black Friday shopping, whether you did it at home or just online, safe and cozy in bed, I hope you found some cool things that you wanted or got some great time to spend with your family. So that being said, everyone who took part of the Black Friday code card giveaway yesterday streams, um, I hope it was fun for you. I hope that you were able to get some cool stuff on the trading card game online if you're into that sort of thing. But regardless, I do want to once again thank each and every one of you for being part of my channel, part of my stream, all of those who have been with me from day one, now at just over 110 subscribers. We're gonna keep growing, I'm gonna keep doing new things, keep opening Pokemon packs for you, and we're gonna grow this channel together. So everyone who's here, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And with that out of the way, if you're watching this video, you're new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. It greatly helps me continue to grow and reach out to new viewers who may also be into the same sort of content. And furthermore, please hit that subscribe button if you have not already to make sure you don't miss a single one of my videos. Videos regularly come out every Wednesday and Saturdays, but just like last week for Black Friday week, there is a video every single week. And sometimes I also post random videos throughout the week when I come across cool things in stores or cool things that I would like to open and share with you guys. So what I have for us today is this Eevee. Um, I think this is the spring 2021 collector's chest. We'll talk about this in a second. And we also have the Dragapult Prime collection box. Um, this one is probably one of the only boxes where I feel like you exactly get what you pay for. This box is about $15 and you get two celebrations packs and you get one pack of Vivid Voltage. So let's assume each pack is worth four bucks, right? So there's $12 there. You get this promo card and you get this little coin. Um, there's also a jumbo card back here. Um, I guess we should just open this and take a better look. But in any case, is it worth $15? Yeah, I, I think that depends. How do you feel about promo cards? Um, how do you feel about getting a jumbo card? How do you feel about getting a coin? Does that add an extra dollar or two for you? Um, I would say for most people it probably does. If you're looking for these promo cards, let's say a single on eBay, it's probably at least a dollar or two plus shipping. And the same with these jumbo cards, um, these coins, I think they're in a lot of different packs and I doubt many people care about those too much, but either way. Um, I guess what I'm saying is, is it worth $15? I, I bought it, so I guess it was, right? I really like this coin. Nice and rainbow prism-y effect. And let's see if we can get this promo out of the way. Oh, this whole thing pops off. Trash. We'll pop that out like so. And code card for you. Celebrations Collection Dragapult Prime. There's the code card. Go ahead and put that in. Hopefully you get something good. If you did type in that code, let me know what you get. I'm kind of curious. Um, let's take a look at this Dragapult Prime card. This is, I'm going to zoom in now. Promo Sword and Shield. Come on there, buddy. There we go. Sword and Shield 132. I think this is a great looking hollow, how it kind of reminds me of base set two with, you know, the little spheres, bubbles, whatever you want to call them, kind of like the galaxy pattern. Um, has a great 3D effect. You also have some shine in the eyes and also this pattern around the border, I think is really cool. Um, we'll add that to whatever promo binder I will eventually create. We got a vivid voltage. We got two celebrations packs. Um, oh, let's take a look. We got the jumbo version. I don't really know what to do with jumbo cards. And finally, oh, 
I forgot about this. Um, I'm just gonna take a look at this real quick. Um, this is similar to the Lancis Charizard box in the Dark Sylveon box where you get this little explanation of the Pokemon and this trainer or something. But I forgot that we get this. Now I remember that we get this. I only remember because I just opened it. But remembering now, this makes this whole box worth it. You get, look at this. Um, how many does this hold? I'm gonna take a look real quick. You get four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. 44, 48, 52, 56. This holds 56. The Celebrations set is 25 and 25. So this is actually really awesome. This will hold all 50 of your Celebrations cards, the 25 of the main set and the 25 of the uh, reprint or secret set or whatever you wanna call it. I think what I'm gonna do actually is use this exactly for that purpose. Put all of the celebration set in this binder. Um, I kind of wish that this was on the front so it looked more like uh, it was meant for this purpose. Um, I don't specifically care about Dragapult, but it doesn't matter. Who's going to look at it besides us? I don't know. All right, so we got Vivid Voltage and we got Celebrations. Let's go ahead and open up this guy. Um, for those who are familiar with my channel, we are mostly just looking for that rainbow Pikachu. And that's all I really care about. Um, but, as I always say, it's not about the cards. It's about spending time together, opening packs, Yanmega. You know, opening packs and connecting in a way with strangers, creating new friends new relationships. That is all I have to say about that. Um, so anyway, celebrations, I am still looking for Mewtwo, the gold Mewtwo, number 25, and also Charizard, and not a surfing Pikachu. Um, what else besides Charizard? I also need the Groudon from the secret set and the Umbreon um, Magikarp. I don't remember specifically. I think I counted. I think I need like seven altogether. And nothing. So today will not be the day. That's fine. Moving forward, let's take a look here. We got spring 2021 let's see does the back tell us anything nope but we do have this cool art of the jolteon flareon vaporeon we got a vaporeon down there a jolteon up there uh, so this comes with five booster packs the three promos that we'll get to in a second some stickers um portfolio and etc etc if anyone has ever opened one of these collections before you know, there's the Charizard and Pikachu one. That was the Fall 2020 collector's chest, which the last time I checked is still available either in person at Target, probably not in person, but on their website. It's $24.99. Same with this. This one was originally at Costco. It's $24.99. It came in a bundle pack, and these are also available right now on Target's website. I don't work for Target, just letting you know. People, I always see in the comments saying that they're not able to find packs wherever they live. Um, so maybe that's somewhere you guys can try to check out is the Target website. Look at this beautiful coin though. That is a great holographic pattern. I love it. Um, and then let's get these three guys out of here. Out of their plastic tombs of death that bend and warp them to no end. Um, so these are actually vivid voltage cards. But 
Look at this. They're beautiful cards. Who's your favorite? Let me know. Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon. I think most people would say Flareon just because, hey, Charizard, it's fire, it's exciting, it's, you know, dominant, etc. Whereas Vaporeon looks kind of weird, kind of ugly, kind of a fish. Maybe to some people it's beautiful, I don't know. Personally, I'm a fan of Jolteon. I think because it just sort of has this fierce and, you know, I like the spiky fur pattern. Whereas Flareon to me kind of has like this fluffiness, which I don't know. That's all I have to say, fluffiness. That being out of the way, what packs are in here? I actually don't know. We got a Chilling Rain, a Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, and a Sword and Shield base set. Code card for the Collector's Chest, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Add that to your collection if you choose. Let's get our packs out of here. Um, so I'm guessing this is pretty similar to that Fall 2020 chest. You know, you got a big pack of stickers and some more stickers. And then you got some smaller stickers. And this seems to be pretty similar actually to the other chest. Um, oh, and then also each of them comes with a little writing pad. Um, let's get this plastic out of the way. Um, and then there's this little, I think it's 60, 60 card little binder portfolio. So for people who, you know, I guess want to travel with your completed set, if you actually play the game, or maybe you just want to travel and show off a certain amount of cards relatively safely, or maybe you're going to meet someone to sell them or whatever. I think this is a good thing for that purpose. But we don't care about that. What we care about are some packs. Let's do an order. So we'll do Sword and Shield, followed by Rebel Clash, followed by Vivid, followed by Two Chilling Rain. Um, Sword and Shield, I am relatively still new at collecting them. If you've seen my videos where I've opened a couple of those ETBs. Um, I think I got a few good ones. I think that's the one I got a pretty good Lapras on, if I'm not mistaken. But overall, I like this set. It has a lot of cool Pokemon, a lot of old Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon that I'm decently familiar with. Rhyperior. I think I mentioned in, on that last video that I had no idea that Rhydon was given this uh, next evolution. I'm not really sure if that happened in Sword and Shield specifically, or if it happened earlier in like Black and White or Diamond and Pearl. I'm not sure, but I think it's cool. So let's go ahead and get to our Rebel Clash. Dewblade, Heracross, Corsola, Toxel. Mr. Mime, a Snover, Piddove, a Shuckle, and a Darulodon. Hmm. Uh, not the best, but hollow nonetheless. The voltage. Can we get a rainbow Pikachu? The elusive. Rainbow Pikachu. What would the odds be of getting a Rainbow Pikachu in the Eevee lunchbox? Probably not very good. Execute. Electric and... Ooh, buddy! Telescopic sight. Ultra rare 203 over 185 telescopic sight gold card let's just look at that look at that angle moment of silence please looks regular there which also looks cool and then 
Let's try to find maximum, maximum glitterness. Good. This has all been worth it. We're gonna put him up there. We got, we got to throw away the rest. Is it as good as a Rainbow Pika? Probably not. Maybe it's worth 15 bucks. I don't care. Um, what am I doing? Chilling rain. Still looking for those birds. Path to the Peak, Ledeon, Blitzel, Quillfish, Slowpoke, Weedle, Clobopus, Tapu Finny, and Malamar. All right, last pack to go. This is it, last pack magic. I don't even think we need last pack magic. We already got the best card that we could probably even ask for. Well, the best card that I would hope for would be that gold telescopic sight. Weedle, Clobopus, Mareep, Ralts, and yep, and it's a Rapid Strike or Sifu. And that's it, my friends. Well, that being said, once again, I thank all of you for being part of this journey. I have much more planned in the future to close out the year and going into next year as well. If you like the video, please give the video a big thumbs up. I want you to know I appreciate you. If you don't know you're appreciated, Rewind five seconds. I appreciate you, you're appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and supporting me through the weeks, the months, the days, the minutes, the seconds, however long you've been a part of my channel. Thank you so much. I'll continue making videos if you keep watching. Take care, goodbye.